amount of people that knew any about anything about this was so tiny, and yet now this is this is this is a really major moment. This not just here, but in the way that the knowledge of this organisation has got out, because they're coming out of the shadows, um, and this is such a wonderful uh, symbolic part of the web, because it's a point that people can relate to. If you go deep, deep in the rabbit hole, where they talk, you know, you're talking about things that people are going, he said what? Um, that's another thing. But this is a point that people can relate to because what it is simply, uh, you know, what we've been saying all the all these years is if you look at the corporations and the um, the banks and the, and the governments, the political parties, in the end, they're all controlled by the same people. They're different masks on the same face. And here we have the absolute living proof of that this weekend in that hotel where I mean what's the point of having lobby uh, laws when the buggers get on the same roof you know it's it's but but this is a wake-up call for a lot of people I know it is from people that uh, I've talked to this week it's like what do you mean they're meeting in secret what are they doing and this is why the genie will never go back in the bottle this a lot of people are, are going to start to open their minds to the world being very different to what they thought it was because of this thing this weekend. What are you going to speak about tomorrow night? Oh, uh, I think I will speak about loads of things. <laughs> uh, whatever comes into my mind. But um, I, 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 How are you going to keep it under 13 hours, loads David? Of things. Yeah, well, that's the point. See. <laughs> yeah. I've had, see, I, I've had the crystal healing and I've had the... Uh, the hands-on healing, but I, I, I can't shift this verbal diarrhea. That's the trick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. No, it's not diarrhea, man. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I, I've got a lot of things I like to say because you can put this into a, a much bigger context. What's happening today? Because this. this yeah. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yes. But anyway. Anyway, I'll be, I'll, 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 I don't know how to hold one of those. All right. <laughs> I, I, Alex is the expert on the mega. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm going to come here tomorrow. I'll be here most of the day tomorrow. So, um, and then I'm going to talk talk at some length if people want me to talk at some length about yeah, this did. stuff <laughs> and um, the context that this can be put into on, on, on a wider way. Um, it's just a great moment. I just hope that <laughs> loads and loads of people turn up here tomorrow and make a statement, we ain't having it anymore. Because this is a really major, major opportunity we're looking at here. To, well, it's already been a big defeat. Oh, There's major. probably 20 times the coverage has ever been. Yeah. They're having to admit it. And, and the mainstream media used to try to deny this even existed. So how big of a defeat is that for them? Well, I mean, I see this as a real turning point. The thing is, if it stopped now and we all went home, we've made massive strides in the last few days. Just in the, you know, the mainstream media acknowledgement of, of the fact that it exists. But if, if we can get a lot of people here tomorrow, we can make a massive, massive statement. Well, we've got to work now on getting the police to not misdirect people. Because they did that to us when we were on the other side of it. They kept saying, go on down the road a little more, and then down yeah. the road. And then I was like three miles away trying to walk back. That's what they're doing to everybody. Well, it's just like I said to the guy who was doing his kind of, you know, thing with his stick um, and, and stuff when you, when you come in, the old security. Yeah, I said, you know, what, what's happening here? is the prisoners are policing the prison, but they can't see it. Um, but, I, you know, I, that's, a, that's a thing, that, an area we, we have to get to, and that is to get those in uniform and the dark suits that administer it and don't know that what they're doing and the fact that their children and grandchildren are, are, are in the gun site as well, to realize that, um, you know, they shouldn't be protecting them from us they should be protecting us from them yeah. that's the, what they should be doing that's that's the dynamic but they, they don't and this is the way it works and and you know what we've got here is, is, is a, a real a symbolism is very powerful and what we've got here is is a symbol of the world because what they what they want to um create is a hunger games type world in which you have a i mean a tiny, tiny few that are unbelievably mega rich. And you, know, and you think you'd go from, from poor through what they call middle class to rich. If you look at the, um, the graphs now, it's going down there and then suddenly whoop uh, uh, with the 1%. And in some of the graphs, they are so rich, the, it actually goes off the page and they have to put the top of the graph next to it. And this is what they want. They want a society in which 
there is a mega, mega rich and everyone else is mega poor. And in the middle of that are the dark suit administrators and the um, uniforms to administer um, the 1% agenda on the mega poor masses. So here we have a situation here where you've got 140 people meeting there. Uh, you've got a ring of steel around them, so they, they are uh, uh, cut off from us. Exactly what the Hunger Games Society is supposed to be. Um, and then you've got the uniforms administering that and protecting that from the, the mass of the people. That is precisely the dynamic that they want that global society. And that's why they're engineering it to make us poor in their own Agenda 21 so that they can then control the services and make us beg for crumbs. And they brag about this. In fact, a few years ago, they openly said we want to make people so poor they can't come protest us. Well, this is this is the point, you know, because we're going to go do this interview now, but um, I'll, I'll be here tomorrow. But uh, this is the point of what's going on economically. Um, what they've done is crashed the economy in 2008 and done it on purpose. And then they started a massive, phenomenal, unprecedented um, transfer of wealth from the, the mass of the people to this elite through the banking system. So first stage of that was crash the banking system and then you get governments to bail out the banks. Now it's a, a banking problem has become a government problem. The next stage of that, and this is what Cyprus was all about, was to go into a point where having taken the banking problem and into uh, a, a government problem, you then pass it on, this is what's happening now, to the people as an austerity problem. And so this transfer of wealth is going from banks, uh, uh, from uh, the banking system, or to the banking system, through government, from the people. People, government, banks. Cyprus was about going to the next stage of that and not even going through governments to steal from the people, but going direct into their bloody bank accounts. And the point being, the power of precedent is massive. And having set it in Cyprus, then when the next banking crisis comes, and it's all planned, of course, it'd be discussed in there over the weekend, possibly now, they are going to say, well, hold on a second. We can't governments bail out the banks anymore. Well, what about the people of Cyprus? We can't let them have their you know, money take of their bank account and then say that it's not happening elsewhere. This is what the European Union is going to say. And therefore, um, the idea is to transfer wealth, um, not just via governments to the banks and the elite, but actually from bank accounts alone. And um, the point is, and I'll, I'll say this to anyone who wants to listen, who has got lots of money now and thinks, well, I'm all right, Jack, never mind what's happening in bloody Watford and what those people are doing. They're going to devalue it. What, what they've got to understand, these people now who are, who are seriously rich, if you are not part of this network, they want your money too. So we're in this together. And if they divide and rule us by saying, well, it's not my problem or it's not my problem, and then suddenly knock, 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 and I talk to you, sir, well, it is your problem. But all the people that could have stood by your side have already been picked off while you were looking the other way. This is why we need to come together. Because if you're not part of this elite, they want your money. They want your poor. And uh, this is a massive, massive moment. I think t tomorrow could be a, you know, one, of the, one of the days that we look back and say, that's the time. The world woke up. That's yeah! the time.